it's Kip here from KDC Marketing. And in today's video, I wanna show you how you can blend your hero section here with your header and just talk through a couple of things that most people miss when they try to do this inside of Wix Studio. So right here in the blue, with the blue on the outside, I have my hero section. And then up here, I have my header section. And so in order to blend these two sections together, I have to click on my header section, which is in green. And I can open up my layers panel to make sure that I'm clicking on the header. And then over here in header settings, I have to change this scroll effect. Now this is the most important part. This is the part that most people forget to do. And they say, I don't see the section to, uh, to blend my hero section. So I'm gonna show you that in a second, but you have to find the header settings and the scroll effect and the scroll with site here. And you have to change this to one of these three below. If you keep it with scroll with site, it never shows up. But if you change it to, let's do fade out. As soon as I change that scroll effect to fade out, then I have this overlap section. Then this is how I blend the two sections together. So I go into next section here. And as soon as I do that, my header overlaps into my hero section. And this image fills out my header section. So again, you have to change the scroll effect in order for that to work, in order for these settings to show up. And these three, the fade out, disappear, and freeze, all allow you to do this overlap section. Scroll with site does not, because it's just saying that the header is gonna scroll down the whole entire time. So if you change it to freeze, you'll get this, uh, these settings where you can change the overlap to next section. If you change it to disappear, you get the same thing where you can change it to next section. And if you do fade out, you can change it to next section, which allows you to blend that hero and the header section. And one really cool thing is, is once you blend it on the desktop device, it goes across all breakpoints. So it's on mobile here, on tablet, it will be blended as well and then on desktop. So this most important thing is clicking on that header and then going to the header settings and the scroll effect, you have to change this from scroll with site. Otherwise you'll never see it. And a lot of people think it's just not there for them, that they don't have the same Wix studio that I have, when in reality it's there, you just have to find it under scroll effect. So you click on the header, scroll effect, you have to change this to one of these three, and then you have to apply the next section. And that's where the overlap happens and the blending happens between those two uh, sections, the header and the hero. So I hope you found this video helpful. This is a really common question that comes up when people are working in Wix Studio. How do I make my hero image extend into my header, into my navigation? It's a nice look. It's a look that a lot of websites have. And the way to do it is by changing your header settings scroll effect to the right thing and then changing overlap to next section. So I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next video.